In this video lecture, we will learn about mobile communication, wherein we will study about cellular concept, mobile phone system, and global system for mobile. It is GSM. A cellular system provides standard telephone operation and it offers full duplex communication. So in a full duplex system, both parties can communicate with each other simultaneously. So there is a separate channel to sending and receiving the information. So people can talk and listen to someone else simultaneously. Mobile phone is an electronic device used for mobile communications. It provides a wireless connection to the public switching telephone network that is PSTN from any user location within the radio range of the system. So now let us see the concept of cellular system. Uh, we can make a call from one part of the country to another part of the country. Practically every city is divided into small areas. So each area is called as cell. A cell is defined as a basic geographical unit of a cellular communication system. All cells must be symmetrical in shape. Based on this, we have four geometrical shapes such as circle, square, equilateral triangle and hexagon. So now, if we select a shape of a cell as a circle, then the area between the two circles will not get covered by the base station. And any attempt to communication from that area will fail. Thus, we eliminate the circular shape. Hexagon has highest area as compared to the other shapes. So thus, we divide geographical area into hexagonal cells. Now, the next concept is cluster. A group of cell is called as cluster. Its size is not fixed. It depends on the requirement of the area. Okay. So now, let us study the mobile phone system. So this is the basic structure of mobile phone system where MS means mobile station, BTS is base transceiver station, BSC is base station controller and MSA is mobile switching center. So in the system MS is that is mobile station is mobile phone of the user. So every Cells. Every cell has its own BTS and its center. So whenever a call is set up, call is set up, uh, the first uh, first signal is first signal is sent to the BTS of the cell. From this BTS, it goes to the central base station controller, which controls the working of all the base stations. From this, it then from um, BSC, it then goes to MSC, that is mobile switching center. So here, my, uh, MSC is the master control controller of the entire system. So uh, these MSCs are different for different areas. From MSC of area 1, the signal is transmitted to MSC of area 2, where it follows reverse sequence as MSC to BSC, BSC to BTS, and from BTS to MSC. So here, uh, 
mobile station consists of a trans receiver and antenna and control circuitry base station includes an antenna a controller and a number of receiver and it is a bridge between all mobile users in the cell and it connects the simultaneous calls via telephone lines or microwave link to the msc mobile switching center is also known as mobile telephone switching office it connects calls between mobile units and coordinates the activities of all the base stations and connects the entire cellular system to the pstn pstn consists of telephone lines fiber optic cable microwave transmission links its main objective is to transmit human voice in a recognizable form so now uh, when uh, whenever user makes an attempt to call someone a separate channel is assigned to the user by uh, the msc if all the channels are already occupied by the other uh, user then the user user uh, has to wait for the channel to become free so in such case user gets a notification such as call cannot be completed or network error etc okay so now uh, we will study the basics of gsm the gsm stands for global system for mobile so this is the architecture of the gsm system uh, it is made up of few small system such as uh, mobile station base station subsystem and uh, network subsystem so uh, ms mobile station is nothing but the device for communication such as cell phones and fax fax machines etc base station subsystem gets connected to ms via radio interfaces it has two different blocks base trans trans receiver station that is pts and base station controller practically every mobile station gets connected to base trans station of that area so this base transceiver station sends the signal to base station controller many base transceiver stations are connected to one base station controller and uh, base station controller is connected to mobile switching center so now uh, net, uh, network subsystem provides link between cellular network and pstns this system mainly contains mobile service switching station mobile uh, this mobile service switching station is the backbone of the entire network of operations it controls all the operations other blocks of the network switch uh, switching system are home location register visitor location register authentication center and equipment identity register your home location register hlr key uh, keeps the database the database of all the users who resides in the same geographical area then a uh, visitor location register keeps the track of all the users who are the visitors of that particular geometrical area mainly roaming customer and then authentication center used for authentication activities mainly it controls the authentication of the users by checking their sim number etc and sends some required information to Uh, mobile switching center then equipment identity register keeps the track of the type of equipment that exists at the mobile 